Hey guys, Seth the Shrinking Pastor here with an urgent update about the FDA, about the deeming regulations, about uh, what they're trying to do to e-cigs, tobacco, um, pipes, cigars, hookahs, all of that. Uh, most important thing, if you haven't yet gone to the FDA to comment, go right now. Um, there's about 24 hours left for us to comment to the FDA. Um, there's been a lot of speculation going around recently that the FDA isn't going to listen to other websites, other places where you may have left comments. Um, so if you haven't left a comment for the FDA on the FDA site, which I'll link to here in the video and down below in the description, do it now. Um, because if they're ignoring all of the comments, uh, that's, that's bad news. Um, we need to have, uh, you leave a comment, get your family to leave a comment, because we know that they're planning on doing some bad things to e-cigs, um, and they have left uh, pipes, pipe tobacco and cigars, um, group them in there together. And so, uh, gosh, we want to do everything to make sure that uh, our voices are heard in putting an end to this. Um, a couple of things that are important and things that have become a bit more, um, I guess, frustrating, scary in the last week. Uh, there's been a lot of talk on Reddit about some things that are going on, um, in particular related to e-cigs, um, but really it, it affects all of us as smokers. Um, first of all, <clears throat> first of all, the uh, there is a group of eight. Um, Senate Democrats who wrote a letter um, proposing that uh, the FDA isn't doing enough in their deeming regulation, that they think that the uh, children are being targeted by e-cig ads, and they are calling for a uh, immediate ban on all sale of e-cigs until things are straightened out. They also want to remove all commercials. They want to remove all advertisements. They want to put in a, a strict 18 and under ban uh, or 18 and over uh, legislation in place to stop the sale of e-cigs um, from being sold to minors. And uh, in fact, today the Senate is that there's a, a hearing. Um, the Senate Dem Democrats are meeting about this very purpose. They they want to supersede the FDA because the FDA's regulations is going to take a while for them to sort through everything and for the deeming procedure to come into full effect. That said, uh, there are things that are going on that um, are not good for us, especially as vapors. Um, companies are already pulling out. They're afraid of what the FDA regulations are going to mean for them. So one of the big uh, battery companies and brands used by people in their e-cigs are Sony. Sony makes great batteries. Um, they, of course, never made them or intended for them to be used for vaping. But uh, theirs are some of the best, most reliable batteries. And someone uh, on Reddit posted to uh, they posted a question to Sony, asking about their batteries and what they were rated to. And Sony said, "We're not making those anymore, and we're not selling those anymore. That we don't want them used for e-cigs." And so that line, the eighteen six fifty line of batteries, has been discontinued. Um, similarly, three of the top propylene glycol companies are have have gone on record as saying that they are no longer going to be selling propylene glycol to tobacco um, for the use of tobacco. So they're already using tobacco in relation to e-cigs. They are, are already cutting off e-cig uh, juice makers. So this means if the three biggest companies, this means that either the, the e-cig companies are going to have to find other ways to get their juice. Uh, or their propylene glycol for their juice, or um, they're going to have to find third-party companies to buy propylene glycol. There's going to be less competition on the market, and prices are going to go up. Um, the other thing is tobacco. Uh, pipe tobacco uses propylene glycol. So who knows if, if they're drawing a line in the sand, um, fearful that the FDA regulations are going to affect their business, if they're saying that they're not going to sell propylene glycol to tobacco companies, then it's likely going to affect the price of our tobacco as well. Um, that's not good. Uh, the, another thing the FDA 
has come out um, this week and said that they're expecting it's going to take 5,000 man hours for each uh, e-cig or tobacco um, application to go through. And that's not including the time or money it's going to take to um, to go through all of the independent testing that each item is going to have to endure. Now, they've said that the cost of this and the, the amount of time for this is so high that their expectation is that they will have one pipe company, one uh, cigar company, and 27 applications for e-cig stuff. That's it. They're only expecting 29 applications for approval. So either their expectation is that the price is going to be so high that none of the e-cig companies are going to be able to afford to to pay for uh, the process to have their items approved for sale, or um, it's intentionally going to be difficult uh, so that they can shut down all the independent e-cig manufacturers. And again, we're talking per item. So this tank is different than this battery case is different than the juice. These are three items. They're expecting 27 of those. And it's going to take 5,000 man hours um, per, per item. Uh, I was reading an article about how um, the FDA, there was some similar product that they were estimating it would take 4,000 man hours to, um, to, to do it. Um, to find approval for, and of the over four hundred or four thousand submissions, seventeen had been approved, twenty some had been denied, and still over four thousand had yet to be resolved. And uh, this is what this is what the future holds for us. So, I know this is long. This is long. It's longer than I wanted. It's a bit rambly, and I apologize for that. But. Uh, Thinking about this, talking about this pisses me off. It makes me upset because this is just absolutely absurd. So already companies are backing out. They are pulling away. So my recommendation for you, if you vape, go today. Uh, three things. Go today and um, post on the FDA. Get all of your family to post on the FDA about how vaping has affected your life, about how smoking pipes, smoking cigars is wonderful for you, how it's calming, how it's a pastime, whatever. So we want as many people on there as possible. And then if you, I would recommend that you do what I'm planning to do, and that's go out and buy some Sony 18650 batteries for use. I mean, this that's what this uses. If you don't have a mod like this that uses batteries like that, then I guess they're useless to you, but I'm going to buy some. And also, the things that are going to be most tightly regulated when it comes to juice making is the uh, the nicotine, the liquid nicotine, and the propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. Now, those things are going to be easier to find than the nicotine because the ni nicotine, liquid nicotine is really what the FDA... Uh, I imagine we'll put their uh, stranglehold on, but I'm going to go and get a gallon of propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and nicotine, and, uh, and keep those in storage, basically, because if I have those, I can get the flavorings to make my own e-juice. Um, no one can take that away from me once I have it, and those are the things that are going to be the first to go. Those are going to be the things that are going to um, either be impossible to find or they're the things that are going to be uh, incredibly expensive. Um, at the cost right now, you can make 30 milliliters of your own e-juice for about two bucks, which is insanely cheap. Um, and who knows what all of this FDA nonsense is going to do to the price of that. So please, if you're not into vaping, go to the FDA's website and talk about how your friends vape. And, and and talk about how you love to smoke your pipe and tobacco because they're coming after that uh, as well. Pipe and cigar, they're coming after those too. Um, if you are into vaping, please go. If you know someone who is into vaping or vaping has helped them quit cigarettes, please go to the FDA and uh, stock up on stuff, guys, because now's the time. It's it's becoming pretty clear that um, that even if the FDA, even if our voice is heard by the FDA. Uh, it's probably going to be ignored by the the Senate, and um, 
and stuff is is not it's not looking bright so stock up on what you can uh right now to um future proof uh your e-cig enjoyment for a little while uh sorry for the rambling i hope that you guys have a great weekend um and hope you you enjoyed yesterday's mark men's breakfast club and uh tomorrow morning's mark men's breakfast club uh links and things should be in the description check those out please do all that uh, i will uh See you guys later.